Hi, I'm Carl Friesen with your Monday Morning Motivator. Now, I'm not an engineer, but I've been working with engineers for close to 20 years now, mostly around helping them get recognized for their expertise. And what I find in doing this work is that engineers tend to work really hard at applying their skills, and that is beautiful to see. But sometimes it feels like one project after another. So if this is you, I'm going to ask you to reconsider your work a little bit here. So you become seen as a good implementer, yes, but also as a source of solutions to problems. And I promise you that if you make this career change, you'll be able to move your career to a whole new level. Now, I know this may not be easy, so you might need some motivation. And I get inspired by a quote from Isaac Asimov, who probably knew a thing or two about working with engineers, because he did have, as well as writing science fiction novels, he did have a PhD in chemistry, and he taught chemistry at a university level for years. So what he said was, it has been my philosophy of life that difficulties vanish when faced boldly. So here are my ideas on how you can accelerate your career to a new level. And this involves getting recognized for what you know, not just for what you do. I've got a four point program here on how to get recognized for your expertise. The first step is to think about the kind of work you really, really want to do. Like just blue sky a bit, let your imagination run wild. What kind of work do you really want to do? For example, maybe you're really interested in renewable energy, particularly solar power. And you've got this vision for being able to implement solar power in small remote communities that probably rely on diesel generation right now for their power. So to do that, you need to get recognized as the go-to person in your industry and in your company. After you have a clear idea of where you want to go, then you need to find out what kind of people can help you get there. Who do you need to influence? So this might be people with aid agencies, maybe non-governmental organizations, maybe utilities, maybe communities. And then you think about the problems and issues that they face in implementing small-scale solar power in remote communities. Now that might involve transporting the, the components on rough roads over long distances, or it might involve designing systems so they can be easily maintained by the local people. Maybe that thorny problem of power storage. Your third step is to write out your ideas on how to implement solar power in remote communities. Now these don't have to be complete solutions, but they should be useful and helpful information. Your fourth step is to get your ideas published. You can start with LinkedIn, and here's an example of an article that I published. You can also get your articles published in third-party media, like third-party websites and publications. And here's an example of an article that I published on behalf of one of my clients, Schneider Electric, on remote solar power in a publication called Solar Builder. Now you may not have heard of Solder Builder, but it is a well-known publication in its niche. Here's what this does for you. You recognize and realize that you've got expertise to offer, and you walk taller as a result. You get recognition, high fives, and commendations from your colleagues. And third, you get recognition in social media. You get likes and shares and forwards. And also, you get to think of yourself in a more strategic level. And that's the kind of work you'll start to get, more leadership roles. So my challenge to you for the week is, Get started on this. Get a clear idea of what you want to be known for. And then take a look at some of the resources on my website, which are helpful articles about how to publish articles, how to write books, how to get speaking engagements. So that's my motivator to start your week. So subscribe to the channel and be sure to check in next week.